Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet the head of a Labrador. When crocheted in 8 ply wool, this one here, the size is 8.5 cm by 6.5 cm or 3.25 inches by 2.5 inches. When crocheted in 4 ply crochet cotton, this one, the size is 6 cm by 4.5 cm or two and a quarter inches by one and three quarter inches. Now I'll be using eight ply wool today, which is like worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got cream and because I couldn't get the eyes and nose small enough with the eight ply, I've got four ply crochet cotton in black for the eyes and the nose. I've got scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends, I've got a 3mm hook to use with the 8 ply and a 1.5mm hook to use with the 4 ply. I've got sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and the white is to embroider a white dot on the eyes. Now I'll start on the head in the centre. So I've got my 3mm hook and my cream 8 ply yarn. Now I start with a magic loop. To make a magic loop I put my hook on the yarn and bring the short end over the hook and then take the long end over the short end to make a circle then put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through the circle and there's my magic loop. Then I start with two chain and I work 14 double crochet into my circle. A double crochet is called a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet you put your yarn around the hook, hook into the circle through the front and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with that yarn at the end through the first two loops. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Now I need 13 more double crochet. Now I've worked my 14 double crochet into my circle. Now I pull the circle tight. So I take hold of the tail and just ease the circle in as tight as I can. And I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So this stitch here just above the two chain, I put my hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. For row 2 I start with 2 chain and I work 1 double crochet in that same stitch as a chain and then I work 2 double crochet into each stitch around my circle. So 2 double crochet into each stitch.
At the end of the row, we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And that's the first two rows done. For row two, we're going to start with working some shaping. So we start with two chain and work one double crochet in the same stitch as the chain. We work one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch. Now we're going to work one half double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet you put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we need two half double crochet into the following stitch. Then we work one single crochet into the next stitch. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. Then we work a slip stitch into the next stitch and then one half double crochet into the following stitch. Then we work two double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the following stitch And now we're going to work two treble into each of the following seven stitches. A treble is a double treble in the UK. For a treble you put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook hook with the yarn at the end through the next two loops, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. So we need one more treble in that stitch and then two treble into each of the next six stitches because I've already got my two treble into the first stitch. Then we work one double crochet into the next stitch two double crochet into the following stitch
one half double crochet into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the following stitch one single crochet into the next stitch two half double crochet into the following stitch then one half double crochet into the next two double crochet into the next stitch then one double crochet into the following stitch and two double crochet into the last stitch slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off and that's the head done now I'll start on the ears now they both work the same I've got my cream yarn again and I start with 12 chain I miss the first chain and I work a slip stitch in the following chain so a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook Then I work one single crochet into the next stitch a half double crochet into the following stitch Into the next stitch I work one half double crochet and one double crochet. And then I work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. one treble into each of the following two stitches for a treble we put the yarn around the hook twice at the beginning and then I'm going to work a joined treble over the last three stitches that will just cause the slope for the top of the ear for a joined treble we put the yarn around the hook twice hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops yarn around the hook hook with the yarn at the end through the next two loops we've got two loops left on our hook then we put the yarn around the hook twice hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops yarn around the hook hook with the yarn at the end through the next two loops we've now got three loops on our hook we put the yarn around the hook twice hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook take the hook with your yarn through two loops yarn around the hook take your hook with the yarn through the next two loops we've got four loops left then yarn around the hook and take your hook with the yarn through the remaining loops and that's the first 
row of the year. For row two, we start with four chain and turn our work and we're going to work a join treble over the first three stitches. So the same as our last joined treble. Then we work one double crochet into the next stitch, a half double crochet into the following stitch, a single crochet into the next stitch and then into the following stitch we work a slip stitch and fasten off. And that's one ear done. Now our second ear has worked the same. We start with 12 chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in the next chain. Work a single crochet in the following stitch, a half double crochet into the next stitch, then work one half double crochet and one double crochet into the following stitch. So a half double crochet and a double crochet. Then work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. One treble into each of the following two stitches. And then a join treble over the last three stitches. Then work four chain and turn and we work a join treble over our first three stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch a half double crochet into the following stitch a single crochet into the next stitch and then a slip stitch into the following stitch and fasten off And that's the second ear done. So there's our pair of ears. Now for the eyes I've got my black 4 ply crochet cotton and my 1.5 millimeter crochet hook and I start with a magic loop 
work one chain and I work five single crochet into my circle. A single crochet is called a double crochet with UK terms. So five single crochet into the circle. Then we pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And we've got a tiny circle. The second eye is worked the same. We make a magic loop and work one chain and five single crochet into our circle. We pull the circle tight And slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And for the nose, we start with a magic loop. and work three chain and three double crochet into our circle. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. So three double crochet into the circle. We pull the circle tight and fasten off. We don't join. And that's all the pieces done. And there's the nose, it's just a small triangle. Now I'll just weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's my pieces. I've got the head, the ears, the nose and the two eyes. Now the first things I'll do is embroider the white dot on the eyes and I'll attach the ears. Now the bottom part is where we fastened off and we have a slight bit of the ear sticking over the side and it sticks over about where our slip stitch was. So about there and we don't stitch our ears in any more than the last row. So about there and I'll try to get them as even as I can. So I'll stitch those on and I'll be back. Next I'll attach the nose to the head. The point of the nose goes just where the last row starts. So in about there and I'll embroider a mouth on and I'll also attach the eyes to the head. They go about there as evenly as you can get them. So I'll attach them and I'll be back to show you the finished Labrador. And there's the finished Labrador's head. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.